Welcome back to Church Production, I'm Marcel Patillo. Video production in churches has exploded over the last few years, and it's not just churches streaming their weekend services. They're producing video podcasts, capturing youth gatherings, offsite events, and more. Sure, you could even use a broadcast camera, a cinema camera, or even your smartphone. But what about those times that you just need something small, something easy to conceal that still gets you a professional result without a hands-on operator and isn't a distraction if it ends up in another camera shot? Here enters the BG Bichon box camera from BZB Gear. It's a small box camera that offers tons of flexibility and value. It offers 20 or 30 times zoom that can be controlled remotely or directly from the camera. Lots of connectivity options, including NDI, and you can even stream directly from the camera. But let's hear more about the BZB Gear BG Bichon box camera from the technical director at Cross Church. And before we get started, give this video a like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel. My name is Alec Fortner. I'm the technical director of Cross Church Fayetteville in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Cross Church is a multi-site church. We have three campuses across uh, Northwest Arkansas's area. I'm in charge of the Fayetteville campus, which is our southernmost campus in the college town where the University of Arkansas is. But all three churches are very similar in worship style. We have contemporary worship in all of them with about 10,000 people coming on Sundays. The BZB Gear BG Bichon box camera allows for streaming over IP. It has a high quality CMOS sensor that goes up to 1080p at 60 hertz. And it's so small that you could really put it almost anywhere. But let's hear about Alex's first impressions. When we got the camera in, it looked really high quality. Uh, I opened it up and me and the other directors really loved it. It's a good solid metal body. Doesn't feel flimsy, strong connections. And we looked at it and we thought this is this, this is gonna be a good camera. We got to use it outside at night and it did really great. It did better than our main cameras. Honestly, those shots looked better than our main cameras for that event. And then we got to use it indoor at our Pinnacle Hills campus, which has a lot of natural light. They have these massive windows and artificial light. And it it bounced back and forth well and, and held its white balance well, held its coloring well. So it was, it was a real quality in every environment we got to use it in. At a lot of churches, you'll have these big broadcast or cinema cameras just sitting on the drums or the guitar player or the keyboard player, and it ends up kind of being a bit of overkill. This camera really just houses the sensor and the outputs, making it extremely compact so you can get the quality you need pretty much anywhere you need it. We mounted it at any time we used it on a microphone stand, just with a little camera convert camera clip to point at drums, keys, electric guitars, just different things like that. Um, it was able to get real good focus on people's like tactile fingers and the guitar strings and drum the drum kit as a whole. I think the compatibility of it was really great. There wasn't a whole lot of, oh, well, how do I get this to work or little things. Like, they, they outlined it really well in their instructions to make it work. The compatibility for NDI is great. Anything that accepts the NDI would be super easy to set up. The SDI line, just a typical camera SDI out, it was just plug and play. It was really easy. While ease of use and a compact size are really important with a camera like this, high quality can't be overlooked, especially in live production where lighting could be all over the place, especially if you have lights moving all over the stage and crowd. You'll want good color reproduction, you'll want it to easily match with the cameras you already have, as well as a high dynamic range, so your highlights aren't blown out and your blacks aren't crushed. I think what surprised me most was that it was really easy to get the f white balance because a lot of times with those POV cameras, you struggle to balance them with your cameras. And it was so easy. The auto white balance kicked in and did a real good job in all of those settings. And I think what surprised me the most really was how well that did outdoor as the sun was going down. Because the camera looked consistent as the sun set and the sun was on our instrumentalist at this event and it looked consistent from the time when we started the event while the sun was still up to when this event ended and the sun was completely down. The only other thing that I would say about this camera is it surprised me when it came in that not only I could control the zoom and the focus online through the user interface, but I could just walk up to the camera and there was a little toggle button on the back and I could zoom it and focus it there, um, which made it much easier to get in focus than when, it, when we were dialing it in, then trying to sit from a desk and do it. 
With a camera this small, the possibilities are truly endless. You could put it on a tripod or even something much smaller like a mic stand like Cross Church did. You can mount it anywhere in the room where you could run the proper cabling or even put it on like a motorized slider. And now it almost seems like a manned camera anywhere you choose to put the slider in the room. I think the camera would work well as a POV camera, but I also think it could work well just as a streaming camera. It's got a good quality. With the web panel control, you can zoom in and out on a web page while the camera is live. I think that it would make for a really good, just like wide shot camera in a smaller space for sure. So I kind of came in thinking this might be just kind of a regular, just old box camera, nothing special about it. And honestly, it, it blew my expectations away. So a big thank you to BZB Gear for making such feature-filled products at such a great price, as well as Alec and the whole team at Cross Church for taking the time, implementing this in your system, and giving us your insight on what we can expect out of the BG Bichon box camera. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel, as well as check out churchproduction.com for new articles and insights on everything church production. As always, I'm Marcel Patillo, and I'll see you all in the next one.